Hello. So today we're actually going out to uh, go fishing. And we haven't been fishing for a while on this channel, so yeah, let's do that. Right now we're just getting everything ready in the boat and stuff. Sorry for uh, blown out picture right now. I got a new mic by the way, so I might do like a review out on the boat with this mic. So that'll be cool. It's the new Rode, Rode Mic Pro Plus. I used to have the like mobile one, not mobile, the like Rode Mic Go and it took a shit. I'm not doing that anymore. So I ended up getting this because I got to shoot a wedding in a month and this will be perfect for that. Then I won't have the Go. I probably just need to get a new audio jack for it so it'll work, but yeah. We'll do like audio comparisons and stuff on old previous, uh, just get a new auxiliary cord for it and we'll just do mic comparisons with it or whatever. So yeah, I will see you guys at the launch. Boop. And Jake <laughs> getting stuck in the tree. So yeah, we're out on the lake and uh, we're fishing. I caught five little fishes the size of Jake's winky, like this big. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm using a little wacky rig right now. And I am not even fishing, I'm just getting shit unstuck and uh, retying things. <laughs> oh, I Please see don't how it is. Is. <laughs> I'm not fishing either. <laughs> I'm not fishing either. I'm just, we're getting, just, I'm just getting stuff stuck. Right now we're just casting spells and getting things stuck. Now I think we're getting back to fishing. So if I catch another little dink, I'll show you guys how big they are because they are really, really, really small. Got one, dude. Look at Steve go. Still a little dinker, though. Yeah, but it's not the size that I've been catching. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Things so. like double the size. <laughs> right on. Steve's on the board. He's also throwing Mondos, and I'm throwing the little dink uh, setup, the Dinker 9000s, and we call them the Winky Worms. Jake is on the board with a. A good size dink. Literally, mine's like the stomach size of that fish that I've been catching. I've had five so far. Sorry for the blown out, washed out video right now, but nice job, Jake. Hell yeah. All right, back to fish. So I just caught one, it was a decent size. Yeah, it's not too bad. So today we've been kind of catching some small size fish on Martha Lake here in Washington. So uh, catching half pounders is <laughs> pretty solid. <laughs> right now, uh, Steve is top water fishing. I'm still wacky rigging it, the winky worm. So this is like about the size that we've been catching tonight. This guy's probably gonna fall on the boat like every other. <laughs> Every other fucking fish tonight. Mondo. Super Mondo. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've. God damn it, dude. Don't fucking do this shit. This little dickhead. Here's a, here's a trick. Put your fucking foot on the fish, and then he usually doesn't fucking do anything. You throw him in. Just got another one right from that dock over there. Not too bad. Bigger than the ones we've been catching all night for sure. <laughs> I <laughs> did. <laughs> At some point, he's gonna jump out of the boat because he doesn't. He's a little dick. I, just, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Hung up on a fucking lawn chair that's in the water right now. Just chilling. Oh, shit. It's getting dark, so my camera ISO, it's probably grainy. These GH5s at like 1600 ISO level is uh, pretty shit. 
Steve doing some top water. He actually had a bite earlier. Now it's probably super grainy because it's super late right now, but I fucking caught another one that I dropped. Go finger. Being a little dick. <laughs> Hi. We headed in. All right, well, I will see you guys in the morning on Sunday when we go ride bikes. It's gonna be me, Steven, and Jordan. Jordando, so, yep. See you then. Boop. All right, we are at Doothy now, time to ride. Just riding today, we're not making an actual video. So I can actually learn how to ride and do jumps and stuff. Woo! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set you guys down while we get ready. Do a little bit of B-roll, get it popping, and I'm gonna throw you guys in the bag. Oh, by the way, this is the new bike that I bought for like 500 bucks. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be a first time riding it actually this year, so it'll be a good time. All right. Put you guys in the bag, and then I'll maybe break it out a few times out there. So yeah, here we go. Leaving Doothy, I'm getting better at uh, riding a little bit. Not really, dude, I feel like a little kid again. But the bike felt great, lightweight. Yeah, I'm digging it. So I need to get out here more and actually ride. Then we're gonna go hit up some Triple uh, X Burger where they do car shows every year. Triple X Burger is the bee's knees for milkshakes and burgers. It is the shit, riding on the bridge, back to the car. So I will see you guys there. Bump. Oh. One more thing before we go. Look at this shit. Sweating my ass off. All right, triple seven X. I'm, I'm at work right now. Boeing, triple seven X. Let's go to triple X and isn't. I'll get the low rider, low rider and I'll do, what shake did you do? The peanut uh, butter and peanut banana. Butter, banana. Yeah, I'll do the same one. Peanut butter, banana. Yep. You just wanna do it all together? I can do mine separate. Alright, All right. so total comes to 4420 right there, guys. Those are riders! Perfect. Uh, can I get a water also? Oh, you want water too, then? Yeah, sure. You'll leave when the water actually comes Thanks, dude. Yeah, no problem, dude. Yeah, I did. Look at this thing. I guess I didn't need to grab straws. That's peanut what I'm butter bananas. About. There we go. You are so good. It's got like peanut butter dripping off the side of it. <laughs> yeah, that lady. Nice. That lady was like, "Excuse me. Uh, what kind of shake did you guys get?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh, they're peanut butter bananas." Freaking dank. It's like you're sucking up peanut butter, like melted, it is. jiffy peanut butter. Yeah, it is straight up peanut butter in the bottom. That's why I like it. Yeah, suck up some peanut butter and then lift your straw up and suck up some of the shake and then it's just... Oh shit, I wasn't even doing that, dude. I, I was getting all peanut butter the whole yeah. time. No, I'd mix some of that shake in there. Dang. Double low right. Yeah. So tasty. They're supposed to be cheese. Yeah. Did you get cheese on yours? No. No 
Oh jeez. Oh my god, that's what I needed. No it's wonder annoying I because it. uh pounded. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so every time we go to Duth, we end up coming to Triple X. Pretty good. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the house. Boop! Alright, so I didn't do like the whole microphone thing out on the boat like I was talking about at the beginning of the video, just because I wanted to hear what this mic actually sounded like. And with comparison to my old Rode Go mic that I used to use with the Dead Cat filter on the top. So far, this mic is the shit. So if you're thinking about getting a mic for your camera, start cheap if you want to start doing like vlogging and stuff or making videos or whatever. This was like 60 bucks or I don't know, 60 or 100 bucks? Probably 60 bucks, I think. If you get into it and you want a better mic than this, this works just fine, really. Honestly, I had no issues with that. I think I just need to get a new auxiliary cord for the back that plugs into the camera and this because I think it's starting to poo poo, poo poo out on things. But no, the thing I really like about this mic is the fact that when you turn the camera or turn the camera off, the mic shuts off. So you're not wasting any battery. If I was to get the Rode Mic Pro, not the Plus, this is the Plus, but the Rode Mic Pro, it doesn't automatically shut off and knowing me, I would forget to turn it off every single time and be screwed with audio. So I think this is great, especially when you're out shooting and it's just another thing that you don't have to worry about when you have the camera. So yeah, I really like it so far. I might get into it a little bit more, like with comparisons with this thing, if I get a new cord later down the road and then I'll just do like side-by-side -side comparisons with both of them. Clearly this one will probably be better because it's more expensive. It'll give you guys an idea on if you want to start doing it or whatever, you know, comparisons and stuff. I'm not that great at. But next week's video is gonna be pretty fun because I got something in that little brown box. Sorry, my room is an absolute shithole right now. But in that box right there is something sweet. And that'll be next Sunday's video. And I just got a new guitar, so excited. Maybe I'll show you that next week too. I'm not gonna do it now, suspense. But if you guys enjoyed the vlog for the, this weekend, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Support the channel and I'll love you forever. All right, peace out guys.